Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back. I mean, literally just right outside of Nashville. I should be able to show you here in a little bit at what I should tell you is Calvary Cemetery. We're here to see uh, musician Eddie Rabbit. Okay. So as I was going through Calvary Cemetery, which is a predominantly Catholic cemetery, it says so when you pull in, I was riding around looking and noticing all the beautiful old pieces and how cool it was. And then I looked across the way and saw this other side of the cemetery and I was like, well, why can't I get over there? So I ride around and ride around and I can't get there. Turns out it's a whole separate cemetery. It's separated just by the dead, really. Like there's a road that's separated by graves. So I drive on the backside and this is uh, Mount Juliet, I think. So this is, I guess, a predominant, you know, um, non-Catholic type of cemetery. So I'm over here looking at all of the, the these, this beautiful, I mean this, now this, this, like this is beautiful. Like that right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around this cemetery first and see what it has to offer and look at all these cool things. And then we'll go over and we'll do the grave of Eddie Rabbit. But my goodness. What a beautiful cemetery. So I tell you what, if this is your first time here, hey, welcome. I hope you enjoy the channel. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all those things. And if this isn't your first time here, hey, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. And wow. Oh, uh, merch down in the description. Got the member section. Click to join. It's there too. Yeah, I'm very, very overwhelmed at um, the stuff. Yeah. So let's get to looking and we'll go from there. All right, so just looking in the vast sea of obelisk is this, I don't want to call it a monstrosity, but gosh. So this is Daniel Carter. And from what I can tell, he was involved in uh, money. He was a bank guy. So no surprise that that is a, a large thing. And I noticed here too, like when I come through this cemetery, almost looks like a turkey in a weird way but anyway the other thing that caught my eye was this that is this thing I don't I am this cemetery is fantastic and we've just scratched the surface like I'm gonna have to come back here and we got to do a full-on deep dive into this place look how cool this thing is right like why in the world oh god what was it oh oh whew. well i thought i'd done got got but it's not it's the uh you step on them and they put out seeds gosh almighty anyway yeah maybe if you're in the comments you can tell me what's up with that thing but you can see all the way around it looks like all the way around and supposedly out here, now I don't know if this is the one or not, but there's supposed to be what they call the suicide rock, where, you know, legend has it that a lady jumped off to her death and they tore the stone up, right? And put it over her grave and all that stuff. So maybe we'll run into that. If not, that gives me a really good reason to come back to this cemetery. My goodness, like uh, hands down, as far as old, this has got to be one of the one of the best. So here's William Bate. Apparently, he was important during the Civil War on the Confederate side. I don't know what he did, but I'm sure there's a plaque somewhere that could tell us. But yeah, here's the plaque. Let's see what kind of uh, what they say. Let's walk over here beautiful though it really is like i saw some more that i've got to go to i want to take you guys to i promise we'll get to eddie rabbit i know the title of the video is going to be the grave of eddie rabbit but i mean you know so this is william bate a lawyer okay major general u.s senator yep so u.s senator right there all right so i'm going to get in the car and I'm going to ride around and we're going to find some other, some other things to look at. 
So I've left the car running for this because we've got quite a few more things to see. Thank God for some cloud cover today. But look at... Honestly, I have to say this is probably... I've seen a lot of weird ones over the year of doing this. I feel like this one may, may win at the moment. It says Lewis. Now, if he's not a Freemason, something's up, but Major Eugene Lewis. This plaque or this tablet is placed here in the love and memory of our honored father, a man whom posterity will know and honor by his good works. It was a labor in the building of a life which led to the attainment of the highest ideals, truth, honor, and purity. Now that is, that's something right there, ain't it? Let's keep going. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and start talking about Mr. Rabbit a little bit while we walk through this cemetery and we'll finish up over at the Catholic side where his grave is here shortly. We'll read a little bit about him each time we go from one of these things to another. Like this guy was a member of the Odd Fellows, past Grand Master, past Grand Representative, Grand Sire, let's say one double O F or one or L O O F, whatever that stands for but this guy now that I don't know if the camera probably can't do it justice but good googly moo right now that that's how you do a, a tombstone right like I thought Kenny Rogers was elaborate when we went and did that but this is on a whole different level so Eddie Rabbit <laughs> it's a it's a weird transition, but that's that's really how we're going to have to do it. Eddie Rabbit was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1941 and raised in the nearby community of East Orange, New Jersey. By the age of 12, Rabbit was a proficient guitar player, having been taught by his scoutmaster. During his childhood, Rabbit became a self-proclaimed walking encyclopedia of country music. And his parents divorced after his parents divorced. He dropped out of school at 16. Had some storm damage up here, didn't they? You can tell, like, this is all kinds of beat up. Rabbit worked as a mental hospital attendant in the late 50s. He fulfilled his love of music by performing at the Six Steps Down Club in his hometown. He later won a contest and was given an hour of Saturday night radio showtime to broadcast a live performance from a bar in Patterson, New Jersey. We've got to get over that way. We'll keep talking about his story as we continue. But I'll, I'll, I got to know in the comments if you know who this guy is. Uh, William Furman. It looks like there's, I've saw four names on this thing, so there might be four people in that. But in 64, Rabbit signed his first record deal with 20th Century Records and released the singles next to the note and six nights and seven days four years later with a thousand dollars to his name rabbit moved to nashville where we're at where he began his career as a songwriter during the first night in town rabbit wrote working my way up to the bottom which roy drusky recorded in 1968 all right now as we go to the next place we'll we'll talk a little bit more well, I got to tell you, I don't know who Vernon King Stevenson is, but that is also very elaborate. And I, I guarantee there's no way that comes through on camera. So more about Mr. Rabbit. To support himself, Rabbit worked as a truck driver, soda jerk, and fruit picker in Nashville. He was ultimately hired as a staff writer for Hill and Range Publishing Company for $37.50 a week. Rabbit became a successful, a successful songwriter 
when Elvis Presley recorded his song, Kentucky Rain. The song went gold and Cass Rabbit is one of Nashville's leading young songwriters. He penned Pure Love, which Ronnie Millsap rode to number one in 74. This song led to a contract offer from Elektra Records. Rabbit signed with Elektra Records in 1975. His first single under that label, You Get To Me, made the top 40 that year. And two songs in 75, Forgive and Forget, and I Should Have Married You, nearly made the top 10. In 76, his critically acclaimed album, Rocky Mountain Music, was released, which included Rabbit's first number one country hit, Drinking My Baby Off My Mind. In 77, his third album, Rabbit, was released and made the top five on the country albums chart. Also in 77, the Academy of Country Music named him the top new male vocalist of the year. Rabbit's next album, Horizon, reached platinum status and contained the biggest crossover hits of his career. I Love a Rainy Night and Driving My Life Away. Rabbit developed Rainy Night from a song fragment he penned during a 1960s thunderstorm. All right, so we'll talk a little bit more once we get to the next spot. There's not much, much left I'm gonna do over here, then we'll go over to the Catholic side and we'll finish up. All right, so we're at Calvary Cemetery now to visit the grave. That was Mount all you all you vet god i can't remember the name of that other cemetery i'll put the i'll put what it is here because it wasn't mount juliet that's where charlie daniels is everything's starting to run together on me now he's right over right over here somewhere rabbit a longtime smoker died on may 7th 1998 nashville from lung cancer at the age of 56 he had been diagnosed with disease in 97 and had received radiation and removed part of one lung and there's a, a marker that says rabbit right there so we are gonna here we go edward thomas rabbit right there 41 to 98 in love and memory of my dearest Irish American husband. And then you have Timothy, beloved son of Edward Rabbit, 83 to 85. So we had a two year old that passed away. One more look. There you go. So yeah, that's the grave of Eddie Rabbit, right? Heck of a cemetery that I stumbled across on the other side. Like literally there's just a row of graves or two that separate the Catholic cemetery from the other one. And there is no road that connects them. I checked, I drove all over that thing looking for a road and there's not a road. And there's all kinds of people doing yard work and they're, it looks like they're getting ready to dig a grave for a funeral and a busy day over here so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video we're gonna have to come back to that cemetery and the the first one we went to gosh it got real dark then didn't it people i love people's looks they don't know what i'm doing they get all confused if you keep going that way you, that'll take you to the way out i think i'm just as i i, I know about as much as yeah I know about as much as y'all do, okay. so. Okay. Well, good luck. Right, thank you. No problem. They were lost. Which, it is a uh, winding cemetery to try to get out of, I will say that. Gosh, I am very dark. Not good light under the tree, but hey, it's summertime, so I take any shade I can get. So yeah, with all that being said, I hope those people find their way out. Yeah, the grave of Eddie Rabbit. Check another one of those off the list, right? Pretty cool. That other cemetery. I'm gonna have to do some research because they had like historical markers and all kinds of stuff there. Seemed like a really good, really good find there. So thank you so much for watching. I know I say in every video, you don't, you don't know what it means to me that me and you get to go on these trips together. Thank you so much.